In this video, I'm going to show you how to divide mixed numbers when one of the numbers is a whole number. Either the number in the front is, being, is the whole number or the number in the back is the whole number. So the first step when dividing mixed numbers is you have to change everything into fractions. So to turn a 12 into a fraction, it, you just put it right on top of a 1. And then to turn 3 and a third into a fraction, this is going to be an improper fraction. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So you've got 10 thirds. And that division symbol stays as division right now. And then you multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So 12 stays as a 12 over 1. The division turns to multiplication. And the 10 over 3 becomes 3 over 10. And then we multiply. But I, I like to cross cancel first. And I see that the 12 and the 10 are both divisible by 2. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. And that way we can multiply. And we get 6 times 3 is 18 over. And then 1 times 5 is 5. And that's an improper fraction, so 18 over 5 is improper. So 5 goes into 18, and I'll write it right here. 5 goes into 18 three times with 3 left over. So our final answer there is 3 and 3 fifths. Let's do it again down here. This time it's the whole numbers in the back. Same process, though. We first begin by turning both of these numbers into an improper fraction. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 1 is 21 over 4, divided by, this stays as divided by right now, and the 7 becomes 7 over 1. And then next step, first fraction stays the same. The a division symbol turns into multiplication, and then the 7 over 1 becomes 1 over 7. And I like to cross cancel. It's an optional step, but I like to do it because it saves time later. 21 and 7 are both divisible by 7. So 21 divided by 7 is 3. 7 divided by 7 is 1. So now we've got 3 times 1 in the numerator is 3. And we've got 4 times 1 in the denominator is 4. And 3 fourths cannot be simplified in any way. So that is our final answer.